you've pressed the red button. Now, here's something of no value. So, Stuart, religion, religion, it's a hot potato, but what filling would you put on that potato? Um, baked beans and cheese. Is that your favourite filling? Uh, it's not my favourite thing, but I think it'd be the most appropriate to the religious hot potato. Uh, as far as I know, there's no, uh, well, I was about to say there's no religions that have restrictions on those two products, but of course cheese is a dairy product, mm -hmm. and maybe some mm -hmm. aspects of Judaism that couldn't eat that, so I guess just beans. Mm -hmm. Just beans, basically, just something that, you know, I'm not going to sit here and when you say to me, uh, what filling should there be in the hot potato of religion, I don't want to say like tuna, because lots of people can't eat that, or pork, lots of people can't eat that, because I don't want to have to then deal with a flood of complaints where people say, he said religion was a hot potato, and then for the filling, mm -hmm. he said that there should be something in it which is prohibited by various religious groups. But as far as I know, there isn't a, a religion that has issues with beans. But how about hatred and, and a dash of lies? You're asking me to talk in terms of the filling as a kind of metaphor for something, as a, as a, as a concept, and both of the things you've said, hatred and lies, uh, su suggest uh, that you're looking at religion in, in a pejorative way, and that's not the intention of this program. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't fill the potato with hatred and lies. I wouldn't fill it with tuna fish or pork or, or any kind of dairy product or anything. It's beans, 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 beans. How would you respond to the criticism then that you're being a pussy? Why, why would people? You're thinking of John Gorn, aren't you? Specifically, who I know when he he uh, at weekends runs a baked potato stand in South End, and he deliberately tries to fill those potatoes with uh, as many uh, with, with fillings that will annoy people from different faith groups. Mm -hmm. And um, he does that to prove some obtuse political point and, uh, and his sales uh, 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 of potatoes are negatively impacted on as a result of that. If you're asking me to run a non-profit making uh, baked potato stand just to prove some kind of point about freedom of speech, what a, what a petty minded waste of time. Now you and Richard Dawkins uh, are both well known for being atheists. But is that because atheism sells very well? It is. I mean, it's interesting. Like, um, initially, when I first did um, jokes about religion 20 years ago, it was something that I cared about. Now I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, in fact, I, I, you know, I've moved my position towards agnosticism at worst. Um, but it's become a really workable market. At the end of the day, we have to think of ourselves as brands. How are we going to consolidate those brands? Mm -hmm. And the way you do it is by uh, taking whatever position would appear to be the most commercially successful. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I know that uh, Dawkins himself has had a number of supernatural experiences involving uh, ghosts and enchanted animals, mm -hmm. but he, they're not things that he chooses to talk about because he's very much closely aligned with, um, mm -hmm. with that position. We've seen, and we've seen this throughout um, entertainment uh, history, uh, that, that people will you know, hang, hang on to a position long after they've out outlived it intellectually because mm -hmm. the market is there uh, to work. Um, Ronnie Barker, for example, was not an overweight man um, by the end of his life, but he continued to work in, in a fat suit uh, in order to be able to play the kind of characters mm -hmm. that he was closely associated mm -hmm. with. It was too late to change. He knew the market he was working. And neither is Ronnie Corbett short. Well, Ronnie Corbett isn't short. Rob Ronnie Corbett mm -hmm. just had a late growth spurt mm -hmm. and is now six foot four. Mm -hmm. But if he was to turn up like that, all the work that he gets playing dwarves at Christmas at parties and things. My old management, they had a Christmas party where, where, um, where Ronnie Corbett was there as dressed as a dwarf giving out truffles and things. Mm -hmm. A Christmas dwarf. He was six foot two, he had a late growth spurt. It was ridiculous, but because it was Ronnie Corbett, we kind of bought into the idea mm -hmm. that he was small. It's almost mm -hmm. like the, it played a trick on you. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, in, in fact, a, a lot of the work that he did of the distribution of mince pies and things whilst dressed as a Christmas dwarf, he was required to stand at the... Uh, the very end of a, of a long room with a kind of tapered floor that gave him a false perspective mm -hmm. so that he would look look smaller but as you approached him his true height became immediately apparent mm -hmm. but that's a good example of someone in, in entertainment becoming known for a particular position and sticking to it to work their market in the face of uh, of the facts do you do you think there's there is a there is another there is a, a somewhere else uh, uh, an ether. Uh, I think there's definitely uh, somewhere uh, else. Yeah. I, I haven't finished oh, explaining what yeah. it is that yeah. I think you might yeah. think there might be something of. Mm. There, there is a somewhere else, uh, a, another plane. Uh, uh, actually, I have finished. Yeah. Well, I think there might be somewhere else. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. I mean, that's something that concerns you. Or? No, 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 no. I'm quite. I mean, uh, the uh, the uh, if if you've got um, uh, if you've got a cardboard box on a mm. table mm -hmm. and it's shut, what's inside it? 
tramp? Well, possibly, oh, but somewhere else is inside it. And mm. like, it would be a fool that said there isn't somewhere else, because there might be, or well, there might not be as well. And I think if people take... That's if pe rubbish. No, if people take one thing away from this programme, from this uh, week's programme, uh. I'd like them to entertain the possibility that there may or may not be somewhere else. That's what it's driving towards. There may or may not be somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. And you're not prepared to be any clearer no, on, I think on that whether some, there is or you know, isn't? I think it's something people have to think about for themselves, you know, and I think yeah. that's the... The purpose of art is to ask questions and not necessarily answer so them. So is, 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 is the red button, as it were, a, a metaphor for well, another dimension? It is, yeah. I mean, what I don't understand is where, where is this? So people are watching the red button now, but yeah. where, where is this content? I don't know. Is it on the telly, right? Or is it, is it flying around like in rays in, in the atmosphere and the red button somehow clicks onto it? Where's it coming from? Where's it stored? Know. Like it's absolutely beyond me. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm, f I'm, I'm quite frightened to be red button content because mm. I, I don't think you should ever appear as content in a format that you don't even understand. Mm. It seems like it's asking for trouble. Mm. Mm. Like you know, you wouldn't submit to an, an operation uh, that you had not been explained to you. Also, if, if someone presses the red button mm. and I'm on holiday mm -hmm. in another country, do I? Do I then get like sucked in to the television and have well, to do this? Well, I think or contractually you're obliged, while the red button is up there, you're obliged, wherever you are, to respond to whatever to, anybody to, to says to you. To the demands of a member of the public yes. for, for more content. Yes. But I never, I mean, I'm not a content provider. Well, you are. I'm not what it says on my passport, content provider. You've, you've signed a piece of paper that said, yeah. yes, I agree to the red button. Yeah. Yes, well, that means the BBC now has everything. Uh, everything, yes. uh, un unlimited content. When I, when I decided to sort of absent myself from, from society 20 years ago to become a, a writer and a performer, I, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't know oh, I'm a content provider. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be, content provider? Mm -hmm. You know, Shakespeare wasn't a content provider, was he? News, is news content or is it news? News is observation about content and then commentary on content. Um, at, at what point does content become fact? At what point does content become art or is it all just content? Content must never become fact. When the programme's not on anymore and no one can press the red button to access the extra content, where does the content go? I don't know. All I know that is they are constructing an enormous red button at the bottom of the sea and that's where it's all going to be placed. You know when you go to like a remote Scottish island yes. and in the middle of it there's a kind of circle of wheeling gulls yes. you think, what are they? What yeah, are they? Exactly, exactly. What's underneath what's that? Under, exactly, exactly. Content. Yeah.